So you're in the studio working on a project where you need a traditional arch top jazz guitar type sound. Using tricks like compression, EQ, and mic placement, how far will something like this affordable guitar by Ibanez, this is the AF71, how far will something like this get you to that? Now as many of you know, I do own a more expensive guitar like this. This is my Eastman AR810 that I've used a lot. And if you want to hear it, if you're watching this video in the future, I'll leave a link right here to the video that will be going out next Tuesday where I put these guitars back to back. But for now, we're going to focus on some of the techniques that I'm using to make this affordable jazz guitar sound great. So before we get started with sound samples, I'm going to talk about some of the equipment I'm using so you can follow along. All this information is relevant. I use strings by Daddario. These are the Chromes 12 gauge. And honestly, the strings are going to be the most important part here. You got to have good strings and I put these crumbs on a few days ago and it's taken a few days for them to really settle in to a nice sound. Um, the jazz guitar itself is a floating pickup guitar, which means if you can tell, there's nothing touching the top of the guitar. So the pickup is attached to the neck and the pick guard here and this lets the top vibrate like an acoustic guitar. This lets us use mics pointed towards the top of the instrument to get more of an acoustic type sound in addition to mics on the amp or direct input. So the mics I'm going to be featuring in this video are along the affordable line as well. This is geared towards people that have a home studio like me and make the recordings with their own equipment. The first set of mics here is a matched pair of Audix F15s. These are small body condenser mics that I'll be using in an XY configuration and another placement that I myself find useful. Um, another one which I'm using for my talk mic right now. This is the AT2021. And lastly, the Audio Technica 2020. This is the larger diaphragm version. So in addition to those condenser mics, I'm also going to be using one SM57. It's a mic that everybody needs to own, so I think it's a good fit for this video. And my amp over here, this is a Supro 1622RT. It's a great tube amp that I use for all styles of music. So that'll have a condenser mic on it and also this 57. My interface is a Focusrite Sapphire series, and I'm running that through Logic. And we're going to look at the guitar in a few different contexts. First, obviously, just by itself, so you can see how it sounds. And then we're going to try and fit it into a band mix. So lastly, guys, if at any point in this video you feel that I've helped you, please hit that subscribe button because it does help me out a lot and I do invest a lot of time and money into these videos. So let's get started.
thanks for making it through that, guys. Leave me a comment down below what you preferred for the round midnight arrangement and also what I played for the, the uh, spanky kind of blues choral thing. Um, leave me a comment right now. Let me know what your favorite was. Thank you guys for watching. Again, this is the Ibanez AF71 uh, with the maple construction. Not that it matters so much on an affordable guitar. But again, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and check out my video coming out next week. I'll put a button at the end of this video for it where I compare this Ibanez to my expensive Eastman. And I'll see you next time.